Hey guys, bringing you into my ankle rehab process, uh, phase two. <laughs> I'm about a week and a half out and just wanna give you a little update um, and encourage you. So I'm in my street clothes, got my jeans on, about to head out the door, but wait, quick, let me do a few exercises to help my ankle. And so where I, I just wanna encourage you, like you don't have to like carve out time to get in your exercises if you've been given exercises to do do a few before you head out the door. And so um, at this stage, I want to start strengthening. I want to address any range of motion limitations I still have um, and progress it towards function. So where I'm limited, I'm still limited in ankle dorsiflexion. And so that's this range of motion, bringing that foot up. I'm still limited in that. Um, and also, I'll be real honest with you, I forgot to do my exercises um, this weekend, I had a busy weekend and just didn't even think about it. And so as a result of that, because I didn't, I wasn't addressing the issue at my ankle, I started getting pain in my knee. I started getting pain in my hip. And so that's what oftentimes happens if we don't address the issue right from the back. It starts to um, develop compensations elsewhere in your body. And so no worries, not unredeemable, but I just had to spend some time doing some myofascial releasing through my hip. Um, and it's feeling a lot better. So phase two rehab, let me just show you a couple quick things you want to work on. Uh, strengthening for strengthening, keep it simple. You don't need a lot of equipment. So I'm going to show you some basic things that you can do on your own. One of them is going to be, um, uh, heel raises. So you can start with both legs, just bringing it up, strengthening there. If that's pretty easy, go to single leg, um, heel raises. That's a little bit more challenging. So that's gonna start to strengthen that ankle. Even single and balancing, um, if this is pretty easy, then start to close your eyes, that's gonna challenge it a little bit more. Again, you're building and retraining the proprioceptive system in your body that helps, it's your brain telling your body where you are in space. You need to reestablish that after an injury Otherwise, if you just go out there and start running or playing soccer again, and you haven't reestablished that, you're just gonna get injured again. So that's why these things are important. Another thing for strengthening, if you have a TheraBand, great, start using a TheraBand, but if not, you can use your hand. So this is one, um, using your hand, resist going in, resist going in, resist going in. I would do 15 reps, two sets. The opposite of that, resist going out, resist going out, resist going out. Again, building up strength in that lateral side of that foot. The other one, resist coming up, resist coming up, resist coming up. Two sets of 15 is where I, what I like to um, work towards. It's more of a muscular endurance kind of strengthening that you're gonna do. Um, and so that's what I'm working on. Strengthening, single imbalance, addressing range of motion issues, um, I've been stretching my calf and it's coming. It's feeling a lot better. Uh, the other thing that you want to keep in mind is that you just need to respect the time it takes for that, for that, uh, for those tissues to heal. And so I'm doing everything that I know to do while realizing I can't go out and play. Um, wouldn't be wise for me to, you know, go out and play soccer right away. I might get re-injured. So there's some wisdom. You do your part and wisdom in the timing piece and rest and all of that. So if you need help rehabbing your ankle, reach out. I'd love to come alongside you. Blessings.